happy nurse day to all of you um, actually we are starting our another session today as you know I have a very busy schedule and uh, currently I'm running my training uh, centers through internet due to travel bans and I honestly I'm trying to spend this uh, 20 minutes um, every day after my iftar and my pray time I try come here and uh, try to teach in the name of God so I would request all of you to be focused and try to learn about the skill of midwifery. As you see most of the time, I'm wearing a smile and always I'm training with, um, or even I'm in healing with patient in the same face. Always I have a smile in my face. And um, I believe on that, that we as a midwife, as a nurse, as a, health, as a healthcare providers or doctors, we are in the healing of patients and we are in the uh, place to make people happy and come back healthy from us. So I advise you always continue your smile for your clients, patients. Even maybe sometime they address in wrong way, but I don't care. The people will know me after sometimes and they know this is my habits and um, they get used to that. So try always to be a smile in the healthcare sector with your clients and in your profession times. The other um, important topics that we have to talk today is about how we can attract fathers to our antenatal group sessions and retaining their attendance. Most of us, we have some issue in our antenatal session that fathers are not that much cooperating for this antenatal session. As you know, studies has reported that better couple relationship, mothers reporting greater satisfaction with the division of labor in relation to home and baby care tasks and greater parental activity. So this is the reason we have to be very smart and to know how to manage fathers in antenatal sessions. Uh, there is some various key strategies that you can go through that. One important thing is that if you want some invitation for father and mother to attend this antenatal session, it should be addressed both to the mother and the father. Father's direct recommends avoiding the term parent or Sometimes you are trying to use some words like join us for our classes, groups, our education. Never use these words in inviting the fathers. Change this word. How? How you, which word you have to use? Yeah, you can if you want, instead to use a title that indicate a practical focus, 
for example, such as uh, how to have a baby and look after it. Yeah, these topics is very um, addressing for fathers. And uh, it's very essential you try to provide some sessions at the times that be possible for fathers. It is the other important things. Because, you know, some fathers are working in very, um, they are very away long time from home. And sometimes they have only some small weekends to spend with family. So you have to try to make these sessions happen at the workplace. This is very smartly managing the father's class. You can work in their sessions. How? Some sessions need to provide opportunity for father to talk to each other. It means you make an occasion they can sit as a gender to each other and make a male bonding in that group gathering. When men are in a single sex group, they interrupt each other with supportive comments. But as the number of their gender decrease and female members increase, men will be so shy and will not be very uh, bit supportive comments as well. They are not coming, they are not likely even to discuss issue uh, in that time. But maybe if they come with their own gender in one group, they will enjoy, they will make bonding with other men. And at the end of session, they will come and discuss those issues with their partner. Because, you know, uh, the whole group session need to include the men's perspective on every topic. For example, if you are talking about labor and about a start of the labor, you need to consider both partner. Because when you start to talk about how the mother feel, in the time of a start of labor, you have to talk about how a father feel. Yeah, because the men should understand, should know that we understand them. Yeah, because they want to support the mother. They want to know what is their role. And we have to talk about both. We have to say, what is your role to support the mother? And how you can take care of your wife in that time. Yeah, it is very important to make sure that visual aids depict fathers as often as mothers and that there are handouts and literature available that we uh, are pitched specifically at them. There is some small important issues that you have to consider about father's perspectives. You know what is father's perspective? Yeah, most of father's perspective is uh, this expected father commonly, uh, commonly they have some issue in their mind, for example, what will happen if something wrong for my baby? Yeah, their mind is busy with these thoughts. The other important things that they have in their mind is that, what can I do to help my parent, partner, sorry, to help my partner through pregnancy? They want to know what is their role in that time. 
some other thoughts always they are engaging in their mind is that what will happen if something goes wrong at the time of the birth or what if I am not ready to be a father what will happen to our relation which is the other question how we can still earn money yeah too much thoughts in father's mind can't believe how much they have stress or some fathers there are new fathers and um, they have some others issue in their minds very young fathers especially they need some reassurance and to grow in self-confidence this is we have to help them with decision making maybe sometimes they are not sure how to be as a decision maker they need they need greater self-awareness plus child care knowledge a skill and awareness is the other needs for these young fathers sometimes they are not that much uh, familiar with social content and new friends we have to arrange and we have to try and make this happen in this group in their group sessions some other help that we can make in this session is practical information and advice that we talk about that how we can make this session happen and the classes to be arranged in antenatal classes and the important thing political recognition so we understood the role of us as a midwife as a childbed educator as a nurse and as a doctor I hope all of you do some scenario in your mind when a father and a mother coming to your antenatal class first try with writing some invitation card for them what you will write on the invitation for antenatal class how to attract the fathers through that then when they come in your class, how you have to arrange male class, which topics you have to talk about, every session, how you start your topics, which words, sentences, and how to start our topics to notice both gender, father and mother. And how to evaluate the result of our classes. You know how to evaluate. Because at the end of session, they will go and talk, discuss about such, such matters with their wives. Yes or no? Yes. <laughs> I'm trying to share some of my experience about my previous experience with some Asian fathers, very young father. Sometimes when they were coming in some country that I was working, they were so shy full to come in mixed class with mothers. And uh, we have some cultural issue that some topics about birth, pelvic, vaginal exam, and preparation for the birth issue. What we could do, it was that we made a group a little bit smaller, and we were trying to talk about general topics that this shy culture can be uh, slowly solved and we were making some ice breaking with that topics then after two three sessions that they were coming um, 
daily they get used to each other and they were more familiar with each other so we didn't have that much issue for shy culture so you have to think how to find according to the place you are working their culture beliefs and their customs oh i think my time is going to finish thank you so much please if you find these sessions um, uh, beneficial and useful don't hesitate to share with your friend i will be so thankful if you come to our youtube channel lily mom center l m c please subscribe and press the bell and please share with your friends i want to talk some words in persian for my some other asian colleagues in farsi if you don't mind just five minutes i spend time with my dear friends salam alaikum durud va asr u ruzertun bekhir امروز صحبتی که داشتیم می کردیم من داشتم براتون توضیح می دادم که اولا اینکه یه سری پیام هایی دریافت کردم که از دوستان عزیزم در با کلاس ها خیلی ممنون هستم من با توجه به اینکه که مشغله خیلی فراوانی دارم و کلاس های آنلاین آموزشی زیادی رو باید به خاطر دوران کرونا مدیریت بکنم و چون قبلا به صورت استاد پروازی بودم الان کارم خیلی بیشتر شده و به صورت آنلاین دارم اینها رو هندل میکنم به همین خاطر یک مقدار فرصت هم کم هست ولی با این حال به خاطر عشق و عشقی که دارم به آموزش و به خاطر اینکه یک رسالتی از سوی خدا میدونم دارم هر روز بعد از اذان و بعد از افطار و نماز یک فرصت کوچولی پیدا میکنم که بیام خدمتت در هر صورت عذر بنده رو بپذیرید اگر خیلی کامل نیستم در تو با این که خیلی توصیه میکنم حتما سعی کنی لبخند رو به صورتتون داشته باشین به خاطر اینکه ما در قسمت درمان هستیم و لبخند ما درمان کننده بسیاری از آلام و دردهای بیمارانمون هست ممکن نگاهی اوقات بگین که بعضی افراد بعد برداشت میکنن و خند ما رو به راه دیگه اشتباه میگن اشکال نداره به مرور زمان این لبخند ها براشون عادی میشه و هیچ وقت به خاطر دیدگاه دیگران این لبخند رو که برای درمان بسیاری از مریض ها در هنگام اومدن پیش شما کمک کنند دست از دست ندید در تبا کلاس هایی داشتیم صحبت میکردیم که در پیرو مباحث قبلی که یه سری کلاس ها هستش که ما باید این کلاس های دوران بارداری رو جوری تنظیم کنیم که برای پدران هم خوشایند بشه و شرکت کنم چرا؟ چون مطالعات نشون دادن که روابط خوب اگر یک زوج داشته باشن هر چقدر یک زوج روابط خوب و مناسبی داشته باشن مادرها دارای نتایج رضایت بخش خیلی زیادی در زمان زایمان در خونه و در زمان مراقبت از کودک و چنین تغییرات خوب بارداری رو خواهند طی کرد پس نتیجه میگیریم حضور همسران خیلی موثره مخصوصا که بتونیم توی کلاس ها ترقیبشون کنیم که شرکت کنیم اما چجوری همسران این خانم ها رو ما ترقیب کنیم اول این کاری که می کنیم باید نوع دعوتی که ازش رو می کنیم خیلی خاص باشه هر لغتی رو استفاده نکنیم توی دعوتنامه به هیچ عنوان ننویسیم کلاس، گروه یا آموزش بنویسیم که یک فوکوس پرکتیکالی می خواهیم بکنیم که چجوری از بچه مراقبت کنیم یا یه بچه داشته باشیم به این شکل خیلی لطیف و آرام و بعد سعی کنیم مناطقی این کلاس ها رو سعی کنیم بذاریم که پدران براشون قابل دسترسی باشه خب معمولا روزای تعطیل پدرها خیلی خستن خیلی وقتا کارشون زیاده میخوان استراحت کنن و خیلی راقب نیستن بیان به این کلاس ها پس ما میدونیم یه جاهای این کلاس ها رو بذاریم که به محل کار پدران هم نزدیک تر باشه 
و اینکه کلاس ها رو جوری طراحی بکنیم که بیشتر خود پدران درش فقط باشن مادرها نباشن اینجوری آقایون وقتی در یک کلاس های همجنس قرار میگیرن خیلی راحت تر به هم میتونن مسیج بدن با هم ارتباط برقرار کنن و از کامنت ها و کمک های حمایت کننده به هم دیگه خیلی استفاده میکنن اما به محض اینکه یه خانمی توی کلاس بیاد و تعداد خانم ها بیشتر از آقایون بشه معمولا آقایون دیگه که عقب میکشن و خیلی راحت نیستن که توی این کلاس ها اون همکاری و مشارکت خودشون رو نشون بدن بهتره بزنین آقایون در کلاس ها با هم تنها باشن بعد از اینکه کلاس تموم شد نتایج این کلاس ها رو وقتی که برن منزل با همسرانشون به اشتراک میذارن یادگیری و تعامل پدران در کلاس هایی که فقط تمات مختصف پدرها باشه خیلی بالاتره مورد دیگه که بعد در نظر بگیرین نقاطی هستش که خیلی در ز... در ذهن و ایده های آقایون داره نقاط فکری هست که خیلی گیر کرده تو ذهن آقایون و اینها خیلی نگرانش هستن یه آقا دوست داره بدونه که آیا نقشی میتونه در نگهداری از زنش از حمایتش و مراقبتش داشته باشه یا نه وقتی که پدر این رو یاد بگیره وقتی تو کلاس ها ما دقیقا اشاره میکنیم به نقش حمایتگر پدر جاش رو میگیم نیازی که بهش داریم و چی کار میتونه بکنه رو بگیم این پدر تعامل بیشتری خواهد داشت پدران دارای افکار زیادی هستن و باید بدونن که ما همون اندازی که نگران مادران هستیم میتونیم بگیم اون لحظه پدر چه کمکی میتونه بکنه در هنگامی که درد شروع میشه ما نگران مادران هستیم که درد زیادی میکشه اما پدر در اون لحظه داره فکر میکنه که من چی کار کنم که بزنم کمک کنم پس ما دو نفر رو بعد همزمان در نظر بگیریم تو کلاس ها خیلی پرسپکتیف ها و فکر هایی که تو ذهن پدران هستش این هستش که میخوان ببینن که اگر یه اتفاقی برای بچم بیفته نقشه من چیه من چی کار باید بکنم یا یه فکر دیگه که خیلی دارن این هستش که من چجوری به خانمم در طی بارداری کمک کنم یا اینکه آیا من اصلا آمادگیشو دارم پدر بشم یا نه یا بعد از این بچه چه اتفاقی به رو... بین روابط ما میفته آیا روابط ما همچنان گرم خواهد بود یا اینکه آیا من از لحاظ اقتصادی میتونم این خانواده جدید رو مدیریت کنم یا نه یا پدرهای جوان پدرهای خیلی جوان فکرهای دیگه دارن و نیازهای دیگه اول اینکه اونها یک کمکهای خاص فکری دارن و اینکه باید تصمیم گیرنده باشن یا اینکه اونها نیاز دارن که به خداگاهی برسن باید کمکشون کنیم یه سری از علمهای مراقبت از بچه مهارتها و آگاهی ها رو ندارن پدرهای جوان نیاز به یک سری تماس های اجتماعی دارن و پیدا کردن دوست های جدید و یه سری اطلاعات کاربردی و توصیه ها و همچنین یه سری از تصورات پالیتیکالی و سیاستی نیاز دارن خب ما برای که بخوایم یک همچین گروهی رو مدیریت کنیم در همون ابتدای کلاس مثلا کلاس بارد زایمان اگر هست میخوایم مبحث زایمان رو بگیم اول کلاس که میاییم درت با شروع درت های زایمان صحبت میکنیم همونجا و سریع اشاره کنیم خب اینجا مادر دردا شروع شده این کنترکشن ها و اینجا پدر میتونه این نقش حمایتی و ساپورتیب رو انجام یعنی ما اینجا هم مادر هم پدر رو هر دو رو بهشون میگیم که شما درد داری و شما چی کار میتونی بکنی این نحوه مدیریت یک ماما یک مراقب بهداشتی یک پزشک و یک پرستار و یا یک دولا هستش پس این چند نکته ای بود که در رابطه با چجوری پدران رو جذب به کلاس های بارداری بکنیم با خودتون داشته باشین روش کار کنین اگر دوست داشتین این سشن های ما رو حتما تو کانال یوتیوب ما رو دنبال کنین به نام لیلی مام سنتر ال ام سی و لطفا عضویت رو بزنین و به دوستانتون هم به اشتراک بذارین خیلی متشکرم از اینکه وقت گذاشتین و کنار ما بودین تانک یو ایوریبادی فور اسپندینگ تایم ویت اس Thank you for supporting and sharing our session with others. Hope to see you again tomorrow again at 9 p.m. IST. Bye. Adios. Goodbye. Ahlan. Khodafiz.